Mark Barlow with the mark out. First of all, Impact really impressed me the other night. You know, like, I was actually, like, pulled into it. All except for the last match, but I think it was just tired at that point because I recorded it and then ended up watching it later. And I didn't, I think I almost, it was almost till midnight till I actually got to bed. But, you know, like, uh, storyline and everything, it all, like, uh, finally is pulling me in. So, I don't know if this is just the, um, way in the direction they're going or if they've been doing it for a while because I only started watching about two months ago or so, you know, or maybe three now, but anyway, it's really good, so I suggest you go check it out, um, but also something I was, I was listening to a podcast, it was, um, it's a shoot over there, go check it out, um, but Daniel Bryan was saying how it's so great, you know, to be a wrestling geek nowadays, you know, because there's so much wrestling. There really is, like, with all the independent stuff, and then you still have WWE, all the stuff with them, Impact, New Japan, OVW, Progress, Lucha Underground. That is, like, I think that's a wrestling overload. But what do you guys think, like... Honestly, like, I couldn't watch everything. If I did, I mean, I would, like, my brain would probably explode out of my head. I couldn't, I couldn't watch all of it. You know, I try to catch as much as I can when I can. But it still needs to be something that pulls me in until it makes me want to come back for more. You know? I don't know. What do you guys think about this? Is there just too much wrestling content nowadays? Or is it just too easily obtained? Because, I mean, you can go to the WWE Network. You can go to Global Sports Network. You can go online. You can go just to YouTube and look up all these matches and stuff. But, I don't know, man. Just, oh. <laughs> and then, of course, um, what really, uh, well, it was Daniel Bryan on that podcast from It's a Shoot that brought this up to me. But, um, then again, you got Later on this year, if you guys haven't heard the news, there's a pay-per-view event called All In, which is sponsored by the Young Bucks and Cody Rhodes. And apparently CM Punk's going to be not wrestling per se. Wink, wink. They're saying that he's probably going to end up like going to do a run-in, but and you, you don't get your hopes down if he doesn't. But he's going to be there doing uh, signings, you know, because it is in Chicago. But this isn't until fall, but um, apparently ticket sales are through the roof, and they're giving Vince, you know, a little like, hey, look at us, look at what we're doing, <laughs> you know, cease and desist and all that stuff, but, <laughs> I don't know, you know, so, is there just too much wrestling nowadays, man? Yeah, because I probably even had, I don't even watch half of what is going on now, mainly because you can't watch all the indie stuff. I mean, like, if you tried, they're still wrestling, like, you would have to hope and pray that somebody has their phone recording a match that happens, like, in someone's bar, or, or um, I don't know, it's, uh, I'm sure there's wrestling matches that take place in boxing rings, you know. <laughs> so you just have to, um... Uh, you, you probably know you can watch everything nowadays, but if you do, let me know. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. There's really not much more to talk about. Um, but what do you guys think? Is there just too much wrestling nowadays? Is there not enough? Did you get more? Do you need more wrestling in your life? Because not only can you watch all the modern stuff now, and you can watch it again, you know, if you missed it within the week, and then you can go back and watch, like, wrestling from 1989, you know, whatever, so tell me what you guys think, and comment below, all that, you know, I'll see you guys next time, take care.